Today we're talking about using aggregate functions in SQL. We've got count, sum, average, min, and max. You'll use these all the time as an analyst. So let's simplify this a little bit and we'll build the case from the ground up. So first, let's just start with this count and you can see what this does. So we've got this data here that represents unicorn companies, private companies valued at at least a billion dollars. When we run this count company as unicorns, you'll see we get this number here. So there's 1,074 on this list. Next, we can try to sum the valuation that we see here. So if we sum valuation, we'll call that total valuation. And when we run that, you can see the total valuation that we have here. We use sum all the time, summing revenue, summing cost, summing anything else that has to do with the business. This is an extremely common thing to use. Next we'll have, let's go with average valuation. And so we'll call that average valuation. And these valuations are in billions. So the average valuation of one of these companies is 3.4 billion. Next, let's add the min function so we can see the minimum valuation of one of these companies. So we'll say min valuation as min valuation. So we can see it, the lowest valuation to be on this list is 1 billion, which that makes sense. That's the definition of these unicorns. And then finally, let's go with uh, max so that we can see the maximum valuation of one of these private companies currently. And we see the max valuation, we've got 180. So this is great summary level data. Where it gets really powerful is if you start to incorporate other dimensions to slice and dice the data. So I'm gonna add country in here. And now we can group all of this data by country. And then finally, I'm gonna add an order by, and I'm gonna order by um, unicorns descending and get the country with the highest volume of unicorns at the top. So we've got the US with the most unicorns, China, India, UK, and so forth. All right, that's how you use aggregate functions in SQL. This is something that as an analyst, you will use every day. And as you can see, it's really not that hard to get your head around. These five functions are really powerful and you'll get a lot of mileage out of them. The key is to just practice, grab a data set, and try this out for yourself.